Hello, this is Darcy, the dog trainer, owner and head trainer of Communique 9 Training and Behavioral Counseling, where it's my passion and purpose to connect dogs and people. Now, be honest with me. Do you actually avoid brushing your dog just because it's a difficult procedure? Or maybe they're even a little bit aggressive with you? Well, I want to share with you today a really simple way to start getting your dog comfortable being brushed, especially if they're a puppy using Nikki, a three-month-old Alaskan Malamute. Hello, this is Darcy, the dog trainer of Communa Canine, with my little friend Nikki here. And today I'm gonna to talk about a little bit about how to get them used to being groomed. So obviously Nikki is an Alaskan Malamute, so she's clearly got a coat here that's gonna need some brushing, especially when she gets older. It's gonna be thick, it's a she's a double-coated breed, so there's gonna be a lot of hair coming out, especially in spring and fall. Um, now, Nikki is like most puppies though, and when you touch her with the, the brush, she likes to eat the brush. So, <clears throat> so what, tip, what, can, uh, what can commonly happen when you brush them is they turn into little alligators and try and eat the brush. So what I'm gonna do for Nikki to get her used to being brushed is I'm gonna pair brushing with some treats initially. So I'm gonna run the brush down her body and then I'm gonna give her a treat. And then I'm going to run the brush down her body and give her a treat. So really, really simply, brushing does not equal biting my, or does not mean play. It actually means you're going to get a cookie. Good girl. So I can brush in a couple different directions. Now she's already got a really thick coat and there's a few little, little tangles as where the two different types of coats that she has are kind of starting uh, or combining a little bit here. So there's a little bit of pulling when, when I brush her. So that's obviously just like if you were brushing your own hair would be a little uncomfortable. For her it can be uncomfortable. So I'm going to be quite mindful of that when I am giving her a brush. Good girl. So she's got to have the brushes first. I'm going to run the brush down her back and give her a cookie. Now the better she gets at this, the more times I can brush her in between those cookies. So long as she's relaxed. Now if I do it for too long and don't give her any feedback, what's going to happen? Of course, she's going to go back to biting my brush, which is not what I want. So I'm going to give her a couple of brushes and give her a cookie. Good girl. And this time let's see if I can do four. Good girl. And then I'll give her a cookie. And this time I'll just go back to doing one run the brush down her and give her a cookie and you'll find some dogs are more sensitive about cer certain parts of their bodies being brushed than others um, some dogs are very back end sensitive some dogs are sensitive about their back um, so you might have to be and their most dogs are fairly sensitive about their tails so be mindful when you are brushing those parts of their bodies that you're not doing it hard or if you hit a tangle that you just go a little bit slower again. Now, I'm just gonna pop her harness off because that's getting in my way while I'm brushing her here. So that's it. So now I can brush her little chest and give her a cookie. And I'm gonna do three on her back this time and give her a cookie. Nice work. Do another few on her back and give her a cookie. Now, if I want her to stand up, I'm just gonna have her follow this cookie Good girl. And the bums tend to be a little bit of a sensitive area. So I'm gonna, can you stand back up again? Good girl. I'm gonna brush your bum a little bit and give her a cookie. Now most dogs will sit down when they're a little bit uncomfortable with something going on back there. If you're doing something they don't like or if it's painful or you sometimes see it when one dog approaches another and spends a little bit too much time back there. So sitting is just her way of saying, I don't really love that. So it's a subtle way of her saying that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen to that and not push it too much farther for her because then it'll just turn into her biting the brush again. And this is a pretty soft brush. It's a rubber um, bristles with rubber tips on them. Um, and so it's a nice gentle brush to start with. Those wire slicker brushes um, that have the bent metal fingers, those ones are obviously can be a little bit more uncomfortable. So just be mindful if you've got one of those and that's the brush that you're starting with. So this particular um, training session is not actually about getting her groomed properly right off the bat. It's really about getting her comfortable being groomed. And the more comfortable she gets, the better I can get with my grooming. So that is how you start teaching them to get brushed.